Geez, in Hollywood's eyes, deforestation is responsible for every single possible problem on Earth. Steven Spielberg would later change these Budweiser lizards into prairie dogs for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The movie gets its soft drink placement out of the way early. 279 miles northwest of Dutch Harbor. Cornelia Marie is down an engine, limping through 25-foot seas. Driving with headphones is terribly unsafe. What did you see, old man? I guess lighters are like Babelfish. This Japanese guy understands a French guy Good speaking job. English all of a sudden. 17%, huh? Sounds pretty big. Really? Does one dollar and seventeen cents sound that much bigger than one dollar? No one was recording this, especially not Philippe, and definitely not at this angle. She thinks I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. She said I'm cute. This table doesn't have nearly enough things to measure things with. Exactly how far out did this guy's line go again? This was 1998, so I don't want to give the movie too much crap for having CG, but man. You know, the old listening to headphones so he can't hear the carnage going on around him cliche is stupid enough to begin with, but even stupider when he somehow can't feel the vibrations of a f***ing Godzilla stomping right outside his vehicle. Movie cliche number 15. There's always one dumb bastard who, instead of running, stands and gawks at the alien robot monster Godzilla thing. Barney. Movie cliche 15B. Not really in danger of being stomped, but still doesn't notice the alien robot monster Godzilla thing. Haha, ha, videotape. Another way you can tell this movie was made in the 90s is the fact that they said the word retard and no one flipped their Somebody do something! Somebody do something? Plenty of time to run, but this idiot just screams. After its initial at attack, he, uh, disappeared. That is actually impossible. I realize it's a major plot point in this movie, but skyscraper-sized lizards that destroy buildings and cause earthquakes when they walk are not physically capable of slipping away. We've seen it all, uh, but uh, what you're going to see right now will shock you beyond belief. And I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. You crazy wop. Retard and now wop. Do we need a separate counter just for the slurs? The Warner Brothers and Disney stores. Is this product placement or did Emmerich forget which studio he was making this movie for? This is a cool shot, but did Godzilla jump through this building? Or high step it? Like, how could he possibly get through there without causing any damage below the 20th floor? Well, at least the Pepsi machine still works. You fill him with cement. Yeah, if there's anything that will contain Godzilla, it's good hard cement. This shady French agent keeps gaining access to American military controlled situations. We gotta get these manholes uncovered. We want them to smell the bait. Come on. All you soldiers, you heard what the worm guy said. Get going. Ridiculous Jurassic Park inferiority complex music. Is it just me or does Godzilla seem a little smaller here than he was before? Thing falling on the main character stops within inches of crushing the main character cliche. That's the goddamn Chrysler building we're talking about here. How does Mayor Ebert know that the Chrysler building was just destroyed? They don't have video monitors. The soldiers aren't out there wearing GoPros. They simply said, That is a negative impact. And that's it. All the TVs in this movie are playing convenient inside jokes. Oh yeah, of course Godzilla snuck around to the building behind the helicopters while no one was looking or observing. Where is Target? Oh, I'm sure if you drive around a little while you'll run into a Target. They're everywhere. Damn, I wonder how people with nicknames like T-Bone and Snooze could have ever failed in this mission. This really smart scientist who works with radioactive things decides not to wear gloves to scoop up the Godzilla ooze. Pregnancy tests look for HGH or HGC, the first H standing for human. So this will not determine whether Godzilla is pregnant or not. Pregnant. These tests weren't designed for this, but... Thereby negating everything you just said. You are a scientist, remember? The easiest way to keep important video footage secret is to write top secret on it and leave it lying around in a random tent anyone can enter. Oh no, if the tape gets out, people will know there's a giant lizard on the loose. All the king's horses and all the king's men may not be able to put the Big Apple together again. Jeez, that's the copy you wrote? No wonder no one's given you a chance to be a reporter. This military dude has a premonition that the upcoming news broadcast will be pertinent to the current discussion. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I think we should see this. Newark Airport! Uh, they haven't grounded all flights? I mean, Newark Airport is still basically New York City. Are they flying commercial flights out of there right now? So these French Secret Service guys can bug the American military commanders, but don't have any security on their own secret compound to keep local camera guys from peeping? There's concrete, completely stopping Godzilla again. How are they able to track Godzilla for this animated little map thing? And if they can track him, why do they keep losing him every time he shows up? This is the same overhead shot they used for the helicopters entering the city, they just reversed the direction and added Godzilla instead of helicopters. Godzilla is smart and he knows they're gonna shoot him when he goes for the fish, but he doesn't remember the last time the shooting was completely ineffective? What's he running away for? The number of helicopters in this airspace is too damn high. So how deep is the Hudson again? Oh, your non-existent giant lizard tracking system only works until the giant lizard goes underwater? All stations report man for battle station, sir. All stations report the stations or station man for battle station, sir. I see Godzilla shrinks in the water, too. It's a common problem. Yet another Roland Emmerich movie where the military is proud of themselves for a direct hit before checking to see if the bomb actually did anything. Wait, all this destruction and the power lines are still intact? Hey, we can't figure out how to end this thing. I know. I've got it. Take the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park, the egg sacks from Alien, and the sports arena setting from Sudden Death. 
smash them all together, and you got a third act. Convenient janitor supplies to bolt the door cliche. We have to keep them contained inside! Why is the French Secret Service boss yelling instructions to his French Secret Service agents in English? I can't get through. F***ing sprint. The light on that blockbuster sign is flickering and about to go out. It's really more foreshadowing than product placement in this case. Wait, the elevator still works even though the building's essentially been destroyed? Why is there popped popcorn lying around Madison Square Garden? Jeez, no wonder New York has a rat problem. Anyone care to join me? EVERYONE! Swatch. How much time do we have left? Less than 30 seconds. It takes 56 seconds, but at least they beat Independence Day. But, come on. No debris hits these people mere feet away from the exploding Madison Square Garden? This baby Godzilla has no reason whatsoever to not be eating these people as they run by. I'd like to find out. Well, sure, you nearly destroyed my career and didn't want to marry me, but yeah, we could give this another go. This feels like the end, and it should be, but yeah, it's not. Oh, the murdering reptile we can't reason with or possibly live in harmony with lost his babies. Ah, the old knife in the admission trip. Works every time. Bingo. Bingo cliche. Where's the nearest suspension bridge? Uh, uh, Brooklyn! Our heroes are currently in Park Avenue Tunnel, which runs from East 33rd to East 40th, or Midtown. The Brooklyn Bridge is way down in Lower Manhattan, and you'd skip past the Williamsburg Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge to get there. So, no, not the closest. Come on, Godzilla knows they were gonna go to the Brooklyn Bridge? And he's able to get there before they do, and he knows exactly where to camp under the bridge in order to make his entrance? Well, this isn't ridiculous at all. Are Godzilla's teeth really not going through this taxi right now? Oh sure, a nuclear blast doesn't hurt Godzilla, but frayed electrical wires. Hm, <laughs> kryptonite. This taxi can drive after being chewed on the last couple minutes? Lock on and fire at will. Why do they keep locking their missiles on the entire movie after stating in the first 30 minutes that The heat seekers can't lock, sir. He's colder than the buildings around him. Did Nick have this cell phone the whole time? That might have been handy during the whole phones don't work debacle in Madison Square Garden. Movie puts its stupid end credit scene before the credits instead of after. Puff Daddy, and even worse, Jimmy Page ruined Led Zeppelin's cashmere. Take him to Detroit! Killed us.